in this video i will discuss point group of allene molecule the molecule has a structure like this three carbon atoms are in the same line let this be the z axis the central carbon atom must be sp2 hybridized so that it can form sigma bonds on two sides using the sp hybrid orbitals and the terminal carbon atoms are sp2 hybridized because these angles are 120 degree this one and this one now if uh, yeah, if this is the z axis then uh, the central atom must have used s and pz orbitals for sp hybridization and therefore px and py orbitals of this carbon atom are unhybridized now to make pi orbital with this carbon uh, this px should be utilized and there, there, therefore this carbon atom has one unhybridized px orbital which forms which forms uh, pi bond with this atom pi bond and therefore uh, the sigma bonds in this carbon atom are formed by hybridization of s p z and p y orbitals because p x orbital is needed for pi bond formation with this orbital so here the sigma orbitals are in the yz yz plane so this part of the molecule is in the in the yz plane and similarly here the pi bond this pi bond is formed between the py orbital of this carbon and py orbital unhybridized py orbital of this carbon so the sigma orbitals here are formed by hybridization of s pz and px orbitals pz is common to because this line is the z axis so here this part of the molecule uh, is on the x z plane this side is y z plane and this side is x z plane so the two planes are perpendicular to one another therefore a neat diagram for the molecular structure is like this c double bond c double bond c one plane is like this hydrogen atoms are here and another plane is a perpendicular plane like this one plane is perpendicular to another plane this is the molecular structure of allene now clearly we see that this ccc line is a two fold axis of symmetry because if we rotate the molecule whole molecule about this axis by an angle of uh, 180 these two hydrogen atoms will exchange places these two hydrogen atoms will exchange places uh, and the plane this xz plane will remain xz plane although it will turn the plane will come uh, come to its uh, original position similarly the plane will this plane also will come to its original position although the, the two atoms exchange places so therefore this c2 is a uh, is an axis of symmetry in this case our next task is to find whether there are two more c2 axes because once we find 
a cn axis the next next task is to find n number of c2 axis perpendicular to cn in the original flow chart of the uh, flow chart for uh, finding point groups and, uh, our next objective is this to find uh, whether there are n c2 axis perpendicular to cn here we have to find whether there are two c2 axis perpendicular to this c2 the task is not easy with such a diagram that will be simplified if we use this diagram consider a rectangular box consider a rectangular box formed by fusion of two cubes formed by placing two cubes side by side consider a rectangular box like this A rectangular box formed by fusing two cubes side by side. The carbon atoms are here. One carbon atom is at the center of this cube. The middle one is at the junction of the two cubes. And the third one is at the center of this cube. This is C double bond C double bond C. Hydrogen atoms are placed at alternate corners H then H then H alternate corners and then H these are the CH bonds with this structure it is possible to find out whether other symmetry axis or planes are present or not using the center of this face and this face imagine a line this is the line joining the three carbon atoms this is the c2 axis that we have already found now through the center of the top face, top rectangular face and the bottom face, center of the bottom rectangular face, imagine an axis like this. This line also acts as a two-fold symmetry axis. You, you can rotate the whole box. Um, by such rotation, the top will remain on the top, the floor or bottom will remain on the bottom. Only the hydrogen atoms will exchange places, the two hydrogen atoms will exchange places. Therefore, this is a C2 axis mm, and this is perpendicular to this one. And similarly, using the center of this rectangular face, uh, front face and the back face front front face and the back face using the centers of these two faces imagine an axis like this imagine an axis like this uh, this axis also acts as a two-fold axis you can turn the box in this manner uh, and you will get equivalent configurations. In rotating so, what will happen? The front face will remain front face, but this corner will come to this position and this one will go to this position. Similarly, the back face, the back face will remain back face, only this hydrogen will go to this position and this hydrogen will come to this position. Therefore, this is also a C2. There are three such C2 axes. Any one of them may be regarded as the principal axis, but since uh, this one 
passes through the maximum number of atoms, three carbon atoms, we call this the principal axis. C2 principal. And therefore these two C2 axes are auxiliary axes. Auxiliary two-fold axis. They, they may be denoted by primes. We call it C2 prime 1 and C2 prime 2. They are like XYZ axis coordinate system. This is Z. So if, if this is X and, and this is Y, then the axes are like this. This this origin is at the central carbon atom. So we find a C2 axis, then two C2 primed axes perpendicular to this C2 and of course there is identity of this molecule. Up to this we can conclude that the molecule is of D type, D2 type. But mm, next our task is to find whether any symmetry plane exists or not. Yes, mm, uh, uh, the first objective is to see whether any sigma H exists. Sigma H should be perpendicular to this principal axis. So sigma H plane should be a plane like this. But this is not a plane of symmetry. This plane, which is perpendicular to the C2, is not a symmetry plane because the two halves are not similar. This half is not the mirror image of this half. If this plane is used as a mirror, so this is not a sigma H plane. Sigma H does not exist. Our next objective is to see whether sigma vertical plane exists. Yes, sigma vertical plane exists because if we consider a plane like this, consider a plane like this, join these two H atoms and these two corners, diagonals of these two opposite faces and edges, this edge and this edge. Diagonal of this face and diagonal of this face. This age and this age. Consider a plane like this. This is a symmetry plane because it cuts the box into two equal halves. This half is a mirror image of this. If this plane is a mirror plane, then, then the image of this hydrogen is this one. Similarly, this hydrogen is cut into two equal pieces. One half is mirror image of the other. This also is cut into two equal pieces. This corner, empty corner, is a mirror image of this corner. And this way, this is a plane of symmetry. There And this plane contains the C, C, C. These three atoms are situated on that plane. Therefore, this is a vertical plane. We, should, we may write here V, but note that this plane bisects the angle, this plane bisects this angle. This is a C2 axis, this is another C2 axis, and this angle, angle between two adjacent C2 primed axes is bisected by this plane. Therefore, this is a dihedral plane. When a vertical plane, that is a plane containing the principal axis, bisects the angle between two adjacent C2 primed type of axis, then, then that vertical plane is called a dihedral plane. It is denoted by subscript D. We can have a, another, another dihedral plane. For example, we can take, we can take these two, this diagonal, Diagonal of this face and diagonal of this face. And these two edges, this one and this one. Imagine a plane like this. This 
plane is also a symmetry plane. It cuts the box into two equal halves and the three carbon atoms are situated on that plane also. In fact, these two planes intersect on the line C2. This is therefore another vertical plane and this plane bisects this angle. This is the a C2 axis, this is another C2 axis and angle between two adjacent C2 axis is bisected by this plane, slanting plane. So this is also a sigma d plane and therefore we denote one sigma d plane by sigma d1 and the other by sigma d2. There are two sigma d planes and therefore the point group of the object is d2 because the principal axis has the number 2 and subscript d. This is the point group of aline molecule. We note another feature of this molecule. This line, this line uh, acts as an improper fourfold axis, S4 axis, because if you turn the whole molecule through 90 degrees instead of 80 degree, you rotate this molecule about this axis through an angle of 90 degree. Then what will happen? This plane which looks vertical will become horizontal and this plane which looks horizontal will become vertical. And then if you uh, place a mirror plane perpendicular to this axis, then uh, the vertical side will come to this side, this from left to right and the horizontal side from will go from right to left. The original configuration will be found, equivalent configuration will be found. Therefore, therefore a C4 operation about this line followed by a perpendicular, followed by a reflection on a perpendicular plane uh, will give an equivalent configuration. So, such an operation exists, S4 operation exists. This line acts as an S4 axis of symmetry. Mm, this is also present in this point group. I will discuss in more detail about this feature in my next video. Let me finish here and Thank you all for watching the video.